Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarium X Pets here with an unboxing from Smugbug.com. I'm going to put a link in the description as well. If you haven't visited Smugbug.com, or it's just been a while, you should definitely check it out. There's always something interesting going on there. Wide variety of isopods, lots of isopod supplies, and even geckos. So, definitely worth checking out if you haven't done so. And go back and visit, like I said, if you have. So, it looks like we've got um, spoilers on the paper, so I'm not going to show you that. Um, I'm really excited about what's there, and I'm not going to um, say too much about it, to be honest. We've talked about some possibilities, but I am going to be surprised by some of the things that are in this box. I'll just, yeah, I, I'm not even... I'm not even sure exactly what's in this box. So let's check out some stickers. Love the stickers. Oh, cool. Look at that. There's the smug bug card, contact information right there. Again, I'll put all of this in the description as well. So you can check it out. All right, here we go. Heat pack still quite warm. Shipped overnight via FedEx. Always a good way to go. What have we got here? Very well packed. I always love to see a good insulating layer between the heat pack and the creatures themselves. You get too close and you get cooked ice pods. And this is perfect packing. What can I say? I've always been pleased by the packing job that she does. All right, well, she and her uh, employees do, because there's several people that work there. Okay, awesome. We're gonna start out with this one. Armadillidium klugai Dubrovnik. So let's take a look at these guys, and then we'll uh, get them into their new home. Now this is a species, I'll admit, I have kept for a while, but my initial colony, after doing well for a while, crashed. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but it is something that does happen and it's important to recognize it. And now the few individuals I, has, I have left are quite stable. They seem to be doing well. They're actually nice and big, but I don't feel I have quite enough to get a good colony going. So um, these will be a great to what I already have. These are beautiful. You notice one difference between these and Armadillidium klugai Montenegro is that the uh, red stripes often go all the way across the body segments instead of um, just remaining on the skirt, which I think is cool. There's even a completely red face, which I want someday. But uh, these are gorgeous as is as well. Look at those. Pretty fantastic. You can see some of them have that, the red markings that I indicated, and some don't, and that seems to be pretty normal in these cultures. You also may notice, I don't see any here with the, uh, the yellow spots. I think that seems to be less common in this morph, or this locality. It's not a morph, it's a locality. Pardon me for saying uh, the wrong term. This is a naturally occurring locality from the city of Dubrovnik in Croatia, I believe. And just like their close cousins, Armadillidium klugai Montenegro, they are thought to mimic a spider that occurs in the area with a similar color scheme. Before I unbox some more fantastic isopods, I want to give a shout out to my patrons at Patreon. I really appreciate all that you do. I'm excited for the possibilities that you open up for this channel. You know that I love to educate people about isopods, about reptiles and other creatures that I learn about and keep. And I love to continue learning and growing along with you. And one of the best ways that you can help me do that is through Patreon. So, if you would like to participate in Patreon, 
For as little as one US dollar a month, please check out the link in the description or at the end of this video. Thank you again. All right, next, let's take a look at these. Oh, Armadillidium espanoli. I always wonder exactly how to pronounce that. But marbleized. These are a cool little Armadillidium I've never kept before. Looking forward to that. Let's get these guys. Let's get a close look at these guys and then get them unboxed. These are just fascinating in their, their pattern. Marbleized, is a, I think, is a good term for it. They all seem to look very similar with this, this pattern. Just so unique. They stay fairly small, and I've heard that they're fairly surface active, which is great. So they would be a good match for a fairly small display vivarium, sounds like. For the moment, I'm going to put these little critters into a six quart tub. This tub has been maturing for a while with springtails. You know, all of these are going to tubs that either have been maturing for a long while or have substrate added from a mature colony to them to you know, help ensure success. So they have springtails already colonized in them, have been going for a while to try to make sure that the uh, mold blooms and so on that can occur with new cultures have already come and gone or that the critical period in which they can occur has tended to pass. Well, let's put these little ones down in here. Such gorgeous little isopods. So unusual. Looks like there's good numbers in there. And Oniscus acellus Mardi Gras Dalmatian. I'm excited for these. I have two types of Oniscus acellus already. Uh, I have the wild type, which I've had for many, many years, and I have the BC maple, the orange variant, that I've had for less time, but they're doing really well. I'm excited to keep these. So let's get a close look at these and then put them into their enclosure. And now let's get a look at these beauties. Whoa. I've heard how beautiful these were and that photos didn't do them justice. And videos apparently don't do them justice either because I've seen them before. And these look really fantastic in person. I'm trying to get a good focus there for you. Wow. I wish I could just show you these in person because the the yellowish flecks in there with the black specks really sparkle. They're like glitterized dairy cows almost. Those are fantastic. I hope the airplane is uh, not too loud. Wow. These are fairly young ones, which is good. They've got some, some growing to do. I have a nice cool corner in my uh, critter room where these will go in the closet faces up it against an exterior wall so it stays pretty cool in the winter and uh, it'll be a good place to put them. I find my Oniscus acellus are doing really really well right there so they should do fantastically in that spot. Wow, love that. Oh, looks like we had perhaps a casualty there but Looks like most of them are doing fine. Yeah, unfortunately we did lose one, but that is not uncommon in shipping. And it looks like even if one or two didn't make it, most of them are doing well, like this little one here. Oh, don't want to bother it too much, so I'll put it back. Now, maybe you just saw my recent video on Porcelio scaber. I have several varieties of this very prolific and pretty fantastic species, but this is one I don't have. And this is one, as I recall, that was isolated by smug bug. That's one cool thing about smug bug. They don't just produce 
isopods that already exist, they, all, they also work on isolating different lines. So Porcelio scaber lemonade. Let's get a, a look at these. And this one, I'm afraid I damaged the label there when I was getting the tape off. But these are the Porcelio scaber lemonade. Look at that color. That is so fun. It looks like there's there's a variety, but it's basically a, a yellowy color with some flex and specks. I like this one already. That is fun. Look at that. I don't know if this is a line bit calico. I don't quite remember. Like I said, I think uh, Smugbug isolated it. I'm glad they did. That is a really fun variant of Porcelio scaber, which is one of the species in the hobby that is just really rich in different morphs. Now, I saved the biggest deli cup for last. I'm pretty excited about these. This is a species I keep, but not this morph. Really excited about these. Porcelio expansis autumnal equinox. And Laureate Smugbug was saying these are probably a hypomelanistic version of the species. So let's take a look at these. Such a fantastic species already, but look at the coloration on these. And it varies quite a bit from what I understand. Really interesting. It's lovely to see the variations that are showing up in this this species so those are just gorgeous i messed up a little bit here and some of these are already hiding the moss but because i kind of made a mistake and i need to uh, start over so some of them are already uh, out of the container unfortunately and we probably won't see them but these are beautiful look at that color How would you describe that? It's a nice young male there. Let's put it down and see if it's... Oh, it doesn't want to crawl there, huh? Do you want to go into the moss? Yep, a little bit more comfortable about going onto the moss. Let's see if I can get a really good look at some of these and focus in on them. Just look at that. Gorgeous creatures. Even the, uh, just the wild type morph is fantastic. And this variation is too. Just a very different effect. Very gorgeous. Oop. I'm just going to move that one there. Keep losing my focus because the depth of field is changing. That one seems a little bit happier to crawl under the egg crate there. Yep, nice female there. There we go. How do you feel about the egg crate? Just fine, apparently. And just that one that had issues with egg crate. If I can get focus, come on, focus, you can do it. That one's a little deeper in color, but always gorgeous. Look at that male. Again, I've got growing to do. It'll get bigger. Ooh. Tipped it just a little too much. Sorry. Beautiful little female there. There you go, onto the moss. Young male. What would you call that color? How would you describe it? Let me know in the comments what you think this color, this background color is. As pretty as it is, I'm having trouble describing it with my... Uh, no partial color blindness. I can definitely see it and it's a gorgeous color. I'm just not sure what to call it. 
Does it remind you of mm, chocolate high yellows? Is it more of a burnt orange? What do you think? Nice male and what looked like a couple of females. And like I said, I already removed a few of them from the uh, deli cut before this shot. And kind of messed up the shot, so. Ooh. I should have brought my paintbrush, but I'm just gonna use a little moss to brush that one off. Once again, I want to thank Laura at smugbug.com for sending these fabulous isopods. And if you have not been to Smugbug recently, I have five words for you. What are you waiting for? Thanks for watching today. I post videos every Friday with live streams on Wednesdays, all about aquarium and vivarium pets with lots of isopod content. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then, Tap the bell and choose notifications all so you don't miss my next video.